Hey guys, this is CT with CT's Touch Horses forward slash dogs. I want to talk to you guys about uh, pet ownership and the responsibilities that come with pet ownership. A lot of people, there are a lot of people out there that, that shouldn't be allowed to own a pet. And the reason why is because they they really take the pet, uh, put him out in a corner somewhere, whether it be a chain or, or a pen, and just pretty much take food and water to him. And some don't even do that. So that's really like uh, probably compared to, I would compare that to someone being incarcerated, being in jail, being in prison. You know, he's confined to an area. It's a lot of responsibilities that come with pet ownership. And if, and if you can't be a responsible owner, then don't own a pet. You know, you have to be... Uh, ready to take care of that animal. You are that animal's provider. Uh, his vet needs, food and water, training, grooming, exercise. You know, if you get a pet, <clears throat> there's adjustments that you have to make in your life, you know. Uh, for example, if you're getting ready to go on vacation, you know, you need to make arrangements for someone to keep your dog or someone to come and take care of your dog for you. But there are adjustments that you have to make. There are responsibilities. So if you're not ready for those responsibilities, don't just run out and get a pet because little Johnny wants one. Don't just run out and get a pet because all of a sudden your house is empty and you feel bored and you want a pet. Think about all those things first before you get one. And, and not only not only the things that I mentioned earlier, but also choosing the right pet is very important. Choosing the right breed. If you're kind of lazy and likes a couch potato, don't go get a Malinois. You know, if you like to go running and jogging, don't go get a Dotson. So choosing the right breed is just as important as choosing a pet. And also it goes even further than that. Once you decide on the breed you want, Genetics play a part in the type of pet you're going to get. Uh, his breeding. If he's a poorly bred dog, there could be some issues. If he's a superbly bred dog, there could be issues. So if you don't have the knowledge, then get with somebody that does. You know, most people when they go pick a pet, they just pick the fattest puppy, or they pick the biggest puppy. You know, those are the wrong reasons. There's more to it than that. So if you don't know, seek some help. Get somebody to help you choose a pet that you will be glad to bring into your home that, that has a chance to be the type of dog that you would want in your home. But just know that there is a lot of responsibility that comes with pet ownership. Thank you, guys.